hello and welcome everyone to this tutorial and uh, in this tutorial you are going to learn how to use call centric service with 3cx so let me first tell you what is 3cx 3cx phone system is a uh, ip based epbx software and it runs on windows platform and it supports uh, supports os like uh, windows 8 windows 7 and windows server editions 2008 and 2012 and what is call centric call centric is a voip service provider and it will provide you with a voip number and uh, you can receive incoming call or make outgoing calls from that number for receiving it's free and to make outgoing calls you need to register to the, with their paper use service and it will cost you around five dollar at the beginning and if you want to purchase more credits you can use uh, or you can purchase that letter no problem so what you need what you need to do is first download the 3cx software to download it just press on the download button fill up the details and press submit and download and after that you need to create a call centric account in this link that is www.callcentric.com so at first we are going to install the 3cx phone system in our okay so we have downloaded the 3cx phone system version 12 and let's proceed to the installation of the system so we'll run as administrator and one thing uh, this is a windows 8 operating system 32-bit edition the os supported by 3cx is windows 7 and windows 8 both 32 and 64-bit editions and windows server 2008 and 2012 only 64 editions just keep in mind only 64 editions of the servers are supported next next I accept the terms next 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 and install after the installation of the 3cx phone system it will prompt you to go through some configuration settings press the next button in the public IP field leave it blank press next I want our extension to be three digits so keep it three digits press next next username and give a password then press next I want to add new extension add press ok next in country selection press i and next next i want to skip this step right now so now it will take some time configuring and creating the databases users and set up the core services so we'll resume the installation after the steps are completed So the 3CX phone system is installed successfully in our system and we can log in using the admin name and password. So we can see the admin interface of the 3CX phone system and 
the regist uh, the extension we created during the installation it's uh, extension number 100 and the username so if you double click on the extension name we will see the details of the extension and we can uh, modify any changes if we want to do so so let's uh, create an account in the call centric service so here click on sign up button and fill up the details so you need to verify your email for the configuration and just log into your email provider account and click on the confirmation or the validation link provided so when you have completed the verification of the link sent to your mail id you will need to provide the following informations so proceed press i agree sign me up click on go to my call centric so as you can see you have successfully logged in in your account and you have been provide a, provided a call centric number that is 1777 and your id so here it is how the dashboard looks like and you can proceed to extensions and see this is your ex number and the extension number is 100 since you have not connected your phone to this extension yet so your phone is not registered mess message is shown here we will get get back to this later so now let's proceed with the other configurations okay so we'll now see how to configure 3cx with the calls call centric account and uh, after login in to your call centric account the in the account portal you will be given a call centric number so at first you need to copy this number then we log in to the 3cx phone system console with the username and the password then go to VoIP providers press add provider now select call centric from here select us then select call centric next now in external number paste the number you have copied from the call centric account portal authentication id is same enter your call centric account password max simultaneous calls is 3 then press next press next now here you can set your own outbound rule but for uh, this demo I am going to set my own outbound rule so that I can connect to a call centric number. Press finish. So after this you can see in the port trunk status it is not registered. Call Centric recommends port 5060 as their SIF server I, uh, port number but in many cases 5060 port does not work. So what I will do is go to provider then select call centric and here I will replace 5060 with only zeros and press apply ok. Now as you can see port trunk status it's registered and it's in idle state. Okay, so we have now configured 3CX with the call centric account. Now, how can we test that if it works successfully or not? For testing purposes, we need to use an we need to use a soft phone. So in this case, I'll be using a soft phone called X Lite, and it's available for free from Counterpath. So here. 
since my account is already registered here I am going to show you how to create or register an account SIP account go to account settings from the soft phone option then give a name to your account in user ID type 100 or the extension number you have created in the 3CX phone system in domain type only the IP address since I am using a different port than the um, default uh, C port 5060 that's why I have mentioned 5050 the port number along with the IP address of the 3CX server in the password give your extension password display name you can give your own display name and uh, in authorization name give your extension number and leave all other settings as their default press ok now I am going to place a test call to the call centric server call, uh, call centric demo account and let's see if we can connect it to the connect it to it or not so let's press call hi welcome to the information line now powered by 24 7 the same great features and even more main menu for business search say a city and state otherwise when you hear the service you want just say it driving directions traffic weather movies sports weather weather say a city and state enter a zip code or hang on while i get your forecast for nutley new jersey san francisco san francisco california say stop to interrupt this forecast at 1 a.m it's clear and it's 56 degrees with a gentle breeze as you can see we have successfully connected to the call centric demo account and uh, our 3 6 system is working just fine so now we'll proceed with the call centric account and see some advanced settings so here in our account go to receive calls and free phone number get a number so from here select free phone number select the country select state select area code press look up so I want to order it now press order now then check out getting a free phone number is absolutely free of course so you didn't no need so you don't need to worry about it press no last name press submit submit so as you can see we have been assigned a phone number so now if I call from my cell phone to this number let's see what happens okay so let's call So as you can see I am calling from my cell phone and the phone is ringing right here in the X light. So the calls are routed perfectly but to make outgoing calls you need to buy their service. So if you want to buy their service you can go to receive calls, sorry make calls, then pay per call option and then order it 
you have to spend a minimum of five dollars but you can use this for your paper call balance and uh, that's it